Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is part four of the micro EV project and today is the uh, how to make a micro fridge and what do we need? We need low cost, uh, small size, low power requirements, it needs to keep fresh veggies in very uh, in good shape and also quiet. So options are mini compressors which are available online for but they have uh, they're heavy and they have power usage, thermoelectric coolers and ice coolers which is obviously cheap. Uh, one of the most popular uh, Micro compressor fridges is the Alpacool, but it's 21 pounds and uses 45 watts. I found another one on Amazon and it's uh, 48 to 60 watts power usage, though the price was pretty good. Um, I have this one, which I had from an old Christmas gift, in a thermoelectric cooler. And uh, you can actually pick one up on eBay at, for around 25 bucks uh, as well. If you can't find it in a garage, sell somewhere. Uh, but it only uses around 36, whether it is focus, 36 watts. And again, it's a really small size as well. Uh, so it'll fit uh, in the i3, both in the back and wherever I need to put it. Also, it's uh, only 5.4 pounds, which is you know, one quarter of the weight of the uh, small compressors. And again, with the uh, kitchen deck we put into the uh, i3 so far, it'll fit underneath the storage bins. So it looks like it's a better choice to do thermoelectric. But uh, can we make it more efficient? So here I took an old HelloFresh, which is a food delivery service box, and to put it in there. And we actually got down to 29 and a half degrees, which is enough to make ice. So what about adding a thermostat? So I got this off uh, Amazon for $8.99 because I'm cheap and I didn't want to pay $5 more for the Fahrenheit version. And uh, then tried to see if I could install that into the fridge. So a little Dremel tooling here to get the uh, plastic case opened up so I could fit this in there. And uh, then mounted it inside and it's enough it'll clear the uh, other electrical components inside. Uh, barely, but it does fit. And then we have the display on the outside. So it looks like it uh, Work pretty well. The uh, thermocouple for temperature measurement, I had to drill a little hole into the uh, cool area. I filled it up with uh, hot glue to make sure it was uh, done. And now the cooler is a fridge. It looks like it turned out pretty well aesthetically. Uh, unfortunately, the directions for this uh, thermostat were not in English, so it was a bit of a challenge. However, the directions on Amazon did have some English versions. So I set the temperature up to 5 degrees C, hysteresis of 5 C, which is the swing in the temperature between turning on and off. And it was around 68 degrees ambient. I uh, did two test modes, one with the uh, foam box and one without the foam box. And uh, this is the results. So the thermoelectric cooler uh, was running at about a 50% duty cycle once it cooled down. And it didn't really matter whether it was... Uh, with the uh, foam or without the foam. So it may be that the foam is not really adding that much value. So what this really means is that the power usage is really like 17 watts and double the lifetime of the battery with the thermostat. So as you can see, one of the advantages of the little thermoelectric unit is that it will actually fit behind the driver's seat in the uh, passenger footwell here in the back with plenty of room. And the seat could also fold down over the top of it because it, uh, it's not that high. So it really uh, will perform as a micro fridge and with the uh, thermostat, uh, the power consumption is going to be uh, around 17 watts when it's plugged in. So well uh, within the capability of even using the cigarette lighter in the car. So in conclusion, the uh, thermoelectric unit looks like it's cheaper, smaller, available, used on eBay, and it cools enough to actually uh, uh, make ice if the ambient temperatures are on 70 degrees. Fits behind the seat and in the back of the i3 in camper mode. Uh, uses uh, way less power than the refrigerator as well. And finally, adding a foam insulation around the unit wasn't as effective as the adding of the uh, thermostat for efficiency and space. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already.